Hey, 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 what's up, everyone? Hey, Biogenesis here for a little change up today, playing some North Guard. forward to it. I haven't played this yet. I just picked it up. What's up? F Meister, how's it going? Gundaris, how's it going? I just picked this up on Steam um, like a couple of days ago and I haven't gotten a chance to play it yet. So figured today would be a good day to do that. Uh, let me get my chat moved over really quick. Hold on one moment, guys. There we go. What's up, Dobbs? How's it going? Hey, good game earlier, Dobbs, man. Uh, that was a really good game. I was really surprised that I took that bar off of you. I think I just got lucky with uh, my Crackhead Ike combo. Um, and after I took that bar, I was just trying to play defense the rest of the time. But, uh, yeah, your, your, your cards out-level mine a little bit, so it was just inevitable before you, you kind of ran me over. But I tried, man. I tried. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see what the options look like. Um, nothing too crazy. Alright. I guess this will be fine. Uh, I'm just going to do the campaign I mode. Am Rig, son see what this of is the like. High King Hargurorf, and this What's up, average guy? Saga. How's it going, man? You fought it Cocaine Yo, managed to get one, one bar off day. of him? Wow. My father sweet, had man. gathered all his yards. To make an announcement of the utmost importance. We were to embark for the wondrous lands of Northgard. Riches, conquest, and glory awaited us on I'm this I'm excited about this game. I haven't continent. played a good RTS in a while, guys. But so I'm, I'm pretty excited about this game. For us. Dozens of armed men suddenly poured into the hall and put an abrupt end to our ambitions. And... And I like that this lives. is based on like Vikings, North, Norse mythology, that they kind of stuff. They were mercenaries, led by a man named Hagen from the clan oh, of the hold Raven. On. I have a phone call. In a matter of minutes, we were all slaughtered like sheep. All but me, barely conscious and vastly outnumbered. I had no way to fight back, so I feigned death. I see that as he stole the map of Northgard and ripped the regal horn from my father's throne, a family heirloom and the very symbol of our royalty. I had to avenge my father and reclaim my kinghood.
Hey, sorry about that. It was a work call, so I had to take that one. And I missed, like, the entire story. <laughs> oh, let's catch up on the chat, though. So, Average Guy's here, F Meister's here, Dobbs is here. James Best, how's it going? How's What's up, man? Uh, Grand Wizard Cartman, what's up? Gundaris, Blind for Life, AMPM, Yusef, how's it going? Jam and T on the line, what's up, man? How's it going, Jam and T? Amazing Fox, hey, what's up? All right, so I missed the story. I, I'm pretty sure I got the gist of it, though. Some dude comes in, busts up our clan, kills everybody, and now uh, we're on a we're on the path for revenge. So uh, let's see what this is about. So Exodus, we have safely escaped to a remote region. We must now find a shore to sail for Northgard. Bonus object objectives will be revealed once you complete the chapter for the first time. Okay. Uh, we'll just do normal difficulty because I do not know how to play this game and uh, I don't want to challenge myself too much and just get frustrated. So Brand, proud and noble at heart, the Bannerman of the Stag Clan is a loyal man who lives and fights with honor. Nothing matters more to him than his people's well-being. He is faithful to you as is his father or as his father was yours and is willing to help you exact your revenge and conquer Northgard. Okay. Oh, uh, not doing Phone Destroyer today, Blind for Life. Sorry, man. We're, uh, we're going to try out this game and see what this game is all about. I encountered a group of runaways of the Stag Clan, led by a proud young man named Bram. F. Meister decided to start making Phone Destroyer Hardin's YouTube videos. Had set his Just after afraid, doing my first narrated one, thanks for inspiring. Left. Hey, man, Not no problem. Father, Always uh, glad yard, to be an inspiration to people. Average guy inspired me to get started in this, so if I can inspire other people to do it, then that makes me Our really happy. Enemy so go get it, man. Uh, I'll definitely tune in to watch your content. All I could think about was What's up, Mark? Yeah, nothing, uh, no, no SPPD today. The regal horn. I appreciate you leaving a like, though. Thank you. But uh, I'll be back tomorrow for some uh, South Park Phone Destroyer, so if you want to watch some more South Park, we'll be doing some of that tomorrow. And I think I'm going to have Druzy on the channel tomorrow, so that'll be a good one to check out. But I just wanted to play a couple hours of this, see what the beginning's like, and uh, we'll try and do episodes of this maybe once a week or so. So let's see, glad to see you're back on your feet, my lord. I'm actually surprised by how fast you recovered. I guess the Wrath is an excellent healer. Still, we have already wasted enough time. We must go after Hagen as soon as possible. Indeed, time is of the essence. We have established our camp far away from the enemy, but we are marooned in an unknown province at the outskirts of your kingdom. I shall prove myself worthy of their trust. However impatient I am to get even with that scum, my priority is to ensure their survival. Glad to hear this. Your temperance honors you. Moreover, no, no revenge can be exerted if we starve to death first. Very true. Speaking of which, we will not lack mouths to feed, so let us endeavor to find food sources. Wood is also a vital resource, as heating, fuel, as well as construction material. And we also need to leave the continent and sail for North Guard. We will need to find a proper shore to put out to sea. You are absolutely right. I suggest you ask some villagers to build a scout camp and train themselves to become scouts so they can explore the region. Okay. So, getting started, you are in a safe remote area. Your goal here is to meet the basic survival needs of your clan, food, wood, and houses. Be sure to train scouts so that they explore the region, then expand your territory by colonizing nearby areas. Find a shore to sell for undiscovered lands. So click the build button to construct a building. Select any spot in the area to place the building. Okay, where is the build button? Ah, here we go. So we want to build a scout camp. We need 50 lumber. We have 50 lumber. So we'll just drop this here. And he's working on the scout camp. I like big strong men, very disappointed my name didn't show up when I subbed. Oh, sorry dude, uh, when did you sub? If you have your YouTube account set to private, then it won't show up, unfortunately. So, uh, that's one thing that I've told people a few times. If they have, if you have your YouTube account set to private, it's not going to give me a notification. 
However, I really do appreciate you subbing. Thank you so much, I Like Big Strong Men. Much appreciated. Getting us closer to that 1,000 mark. Let's see, what else are you guys talking about here? Jammin', is that your alt you're trying to get to Legend? I keep struggling between 46 to 48. Got 48 four stars, but went back to 48 one star. I gotta do it tonight, last time to get Visitor's Pack. Oh yeah, that's right, it, that is coming to an end now. Uh, man, Jammin' T, I can't believe you're gonna have two accounts in Legendary. That's pretty impressive. It's rolling. Jam and T account is in legendary, like 1300. Okay. So wait, do you have three accounts then? Dude, that's crazy, man. <laughs> that is crazy. All right, your building is ready. Click to select a villager. Clicking twice will select all units. Okay, so let's uh, let's select this person. Uh -huh. Select a unit. Right click on the scout camp to turn that villager into a uh -huh. scout. All right, you're going to be a scout. Yefer. Yeah, you need woodcutters to produce wood. Build a woodcutter's lodge and turn one of your villa villagers into a woodcutter. Okay, so let's do that. We'll build a woodcutter's lodge. And we'll put that right here. Working on it. Spinning T is top tier under 200. Jamming mid tier 1300. Rolling, I want him around 3000. <laughs> Dude, you're crazy, man. <laughs> you are crazy. You need woodcutters to produce wood. Build a wood... Okay, we gotta turn one of our people into the woodcutter. Alright. You will become a woodcutter. To expand your territory, you need to colonize the new area using food. Click on the area and spend some food to colonize it. Okay, so down here we can colonize for 20 food. Let's do that. So the scout just kind of goes around and checks out new areas, I guess, to see what's going on. So he's just moving around here, exploring. That's pretty cool. So you can build fields. Okay, so we've got fertile land here. We can build fields here and recruit farmers. So do we want to build fields or do we want to build a house? I think we probably need to build a house first, right? We'll build a house over here. That way, I think houses will let us produce more villagers. Jam and T says, love this game. Have you played this before, Jam and T? This is my first time playing it. How close can you zoom? Uh, it looks like that close, and then that far out. So this is as far out as we can go, and this is as far in as we can go. James says, I remember when I turned one of my people into a woodcutter, I was bum burned on the stake for witchcraft a few days later. Man, my eye has been like twitching like off and on all day. It's been really annoying me. It just will not stop. Or it'll stop, and then it'll start, and then it'll stop, and then it'll start. Why can't we need to bring a villager here? Okay, so I've got to actually bring a villager over here. Oh wait, no, you're wood cutting. You keep wood cutting. Okay, you. You go over here and build. So after we build this house, we can work on building a farm, I guess. What do we need to build a farm? 80 lumber? Well, we have 80 lumber. Drop the farm, she's gonna run over, start working on that, and then we'll probably just let her start farming. Take it easy, Dobbs. Thanks for jumping in, man. Hopefully we'll run into each other in the game again. I need to uh, try and finally beat you once. I think, uh, what, we've played maybe three times now and you've uh, kicked my butt? Well, I almost got you this last time. Almost got you. Eventually I'll get you, man. Eventually. So, my lord, reconnaissance of the area revealed a forsaken cottage. Maybe we should order a scout to search it. They might manage to salvage some resources. I agree, we will have to colonize the area before they can explore the ruin, though. 
So what do we need to colonize? We can colonize for 40. Uh, well, I guess we can go ahead and do that. We'll just go ahead and do that. Let me, uh, I'm going to pop. There we go. So this new area is defended by enemies. Build a training camp, uh, training camp, and turn one of your villagers into a warrior. Okay. Well, first uh -huh. let's uh, turn her into a farmer. So we got a farmer over there. We could probably actually go ahead and do two farmers, couldn't we? Let's go ahead and do two oh, farmers, boy. since this looks like it can hold two. And then uh, we'll build. What do we need to build a training camp? Let's see, where is a training camp? I don't see a training camp. Oh, here we go, training camp. 50 lumber. Well, we've got 50 lumber. Uh, yeah, we can stick the training camp. I guess we'll stick it here. That's good. Oh, you want me to do voices? I don't know if that'll work very well. I do not know if that'll work very well for anyone. So it looks like we're producing seven food. Uh, so that's good. We've got four lumber incoming and then three crowns. Crowns are used to recruit your warband and for building upkeep. So we just want to try and keep these positive as much as possible. So it looks like winter's coming. Make sure to stock up on food for the coming winter. So in winter, your military units get minus 30 power. When fighting outside of your territory, food production is reduced and wood consumption is increased. So we need to prepare for winter, it looks like. But first... Oh, okay, let's see what he says. The air is getting colder. Winter will be here soon. Indeed, my lord, we should expect food to be scarcer and our people will consume more firewood to heat their homes. Our military troops will also be weakened by the cold. It might not be best to fight. Okay. Good to know. So let's send this guy over here to become a soldier. How many soldiers can we have? So, does it say? Doesn't look like there's a limit on the number of soldiers we can have. So we'll just bring this guy up here. We could also bring Brand up here, I guess. And then uh, we'll turn one more person into a warrior. Oh, we just got a new subscriber. Grand Wizard Cartman subscribed. Thank you for subscribing, man. Much appreciated. Been enjoying having you in the uh, chat for the last few weeks, so it's really good to see you. Now, where's our scout? Let's see. Here's our scout. Let's select him. And then uh, after he's finished here, we will send our scout. Okay, so my lord, one scout reported having found a suitable coast for the construction of a port. Excellent. We should endeavor to colonize the areas up to the shore so that our builders can get there and start working. So that's our goal is to try and get up there. But first, let's uh, see if we can get this place colonized. How do we uh, look at how do we look at this? Where's our scout? Huh? Ahoy. Okay. Come this way. Ahoy. Ahoy. Okay, you're gonna visit this thing. <gasps> so I guess we'll wait until the winter's over. Select your warriors, right click on an area occupied by foes to attack them. Recruiting several warriors will increase your chances of victory but reduce your food and wood production. So yeah, you can see we're at minus two food and minus one wood right now because our people are having to, uh, we're not able to produce anything in our farm, it looks like. Um, our food production is cut, and then they're using up more wood to stay warm, so. Next villager is about to pop out. 
I think I might send a villager, okay. another villager to become another woodcutter. Uh -huh. That way we're getting more wood. Since we've got plenty of uh, food, we can stand to lose a little, but we're running a little low on wood. Uh, where did I get the notification gifs? Um, Google. <laughs> I just Googled for a uh, for a couple of different South Park gifs and then uh, trimmed them down um, and just used them with uh, with Streamlabs. So they're just from the show. Ahoy, is she a pirate? No, she's a she's a Viking, but you know that's kind of close to being a pirate, right? Kind of, maybe, sort of. They both sailed on the seas, <laughs> pillaged and plundered. <laughs> so we're in uh, February, so we should be almost through winter, it looks like. It looks like these are our winter months right here, and we're slowly approaching spring. So once spring gets here, we will start clearing out these wolves and start moving up, trying to colonize this area, and then we'll try and colonize this area and build our port. <laughs> what screenshot record? Screen recorder? Um, when I played on my phone, I used AZ screen recorder. It worked really well. Uh, it's also what I use for my job whenever I have to do any training videos for my for mobile. I'll use AZ Screen Recorder to record. Um, it works pretty good. Uh, you can also use the YouTube gaming application to uh, stream and record from your phone and then upload to YouTube. So this guy's about to die. Don't die. Run away. A little micromanaging there. Alright, so we took care of those wolves. Now we can colonize this area for 80 food. Let's do it. Got like some fog or something coming in. All right, and then up here, it looks like there might be something we have to fight up here as well. So let's see what goes up here. Maybe not. Can we just colonize? Yeah, we just colonize here. All right, we'll colonize. Take it easy, Jam and T. Thanks for stopping in, man. James asks, even though you're not playing Phone Destroyer, what's your opinion on the really kind of pathetic report feature? Um, yeah, it's... I mean, I'm glad they added it in, right? I mean, it's a good thing to add into the game, but some of the stuff, I'm just really like, why are you adding this in? Like, why is it a... Uh, so we need to build this long ship dock. And then we need to send a villager. I need a villager. Huh? Huh? Hmm? Huh? Huh? Alright, you. Hmm? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Get up here and yeah. build this. It, uh, it's, it's a bit disappointing um, that they include things like like latency issues why are you letting people report other people for latency issues that seems to be something that's kind of beyond people's control I'm also not sure why they have a report option for people who who are letting people win a game um, I mean there's a lot of times where if I'm playing against somebody and it's just very clear that they're going to win I just stop playing and let them finish off because I don't want to sit there and drag out a match for another two minutes if I can just let them go ahead and win and move on to the next match. Uh, I don't see why you would punish people for that. I can understand it from, I guess, from a D-ranking perspective, like if somebody's just constantly playing games and they're not uh, trying at all, period, and, you know, and they're just trying to D-rank, then maybe I could see that. But again, 
I don't know if you need to be reporting people for that. I would like to see them try and fix that by incentivizing people to not derank. Um, you know, if you're going to have a game that incentivizes people to do it, you can't really blame people for doing it, in my opinion. Um, you know, it's not something I do, it's not something that I agree with, but again, the game incentivizes the behavior, so if you don't want the behavior to occur, stop incentivizing it. No, no South Park today, awesome. Trying out a new game today. Trying out some, uh, this is called Northguard. It's a new RTS that they uh, released just recently. I haven't played a good RTS in a while, so I wanted to give this a shot. Let's see, anchors away, proud Vikings. We are ready to sail for Northguard. Well, let's do it. Your end is drawing near, Hagen. Victory. We have achieved victory. So we are traveling and we have landed here. Chapter 2, Foothold. Northgard is a harsh continent. If we do not manage to tame these lands, we will be erased from memories. So same, same thing as we said last time. Uh, nothing different it looks like. Oh, I didn't even notice this. Starting bonuses, you start with plus 75 food, wood, and crowns. The Hall of Scalds replaces the brewery and produces additional fame. Fame bonuses. Supplies requires 200 fame. You gain 150 food, wood, crowns, and plus 10 stone. And then I guess at 500 fame we get dedication, which upgraded buildings gain an additional 10% production bonus. Okay, cool. My companion's eyes were shining Who with ambition. Who names their kid brand? They Apparently were eager Vikings to set do. foot <laughs> on the untamed lands of Northgard. James says, I'd hate to be a silver shield not ready for legendary. I'd get mass reported for simply dropping rank. By a darker yeah, I mean, but that's the thing. Like, how do you determine, like, Vengeance. if somebody's purposely dropping rank when they could be higher? Or are they doing it because they're just not ready to go into legendary and they just want to drop down ranks because they don't want to go into legendary because they know they're not ready i mean where's the line there and like how many resources are they going to dedicate to like filtering through all of the, these requests because god only knows how many requests they get and then they have to check and make sure they're all legitimate before they decide to act on them and like you know i know i watch average guy a lot and his uh his internet is really spotty at times, so what, is he going to get punished because Ukraine internet sucks? Like, that seems kind of weird. Like, I don't know, it just, I don't, it doesn't make any sense to me. Being able to, um, report people for harassing and, um, stuff like that and for cheating, I think those are good things, but some of the options they included, I'm like, why? Why are you even letting people report people? For this kind of like it doesn't make sense to me so brand says my lord we have dismantled our long ships and used the scrap lumber to build a town hall on the shore there's no turning back now thank you for your dedication we are awaiting your orders to take possession of the region and expand our clan there's much to be done we have to colonize the areas nearby to expand our living space and find resources we also need to raise our fame to rightfully claim the region Please stay safe and lead us to victory, my lord. All right, let's do it. So objectives, we have to colonize eight territories and reach 200 fame. So the stack clan benefits from extra resources that develops and thrives. They also excel when it comes to happiness and fame. So take advantage of these assets to expand serenely. All right. So let's build. I guess we'll build our scout camp first. Because we need to scout. I'm also a bit disappointed with uh, this bug fix patch that came out. Like, I'm still noticing. I I've played, I think four or five games earlier today and I've still been noticing a lot of the bugs that they said that were supposedly being fixed in this so you know I'm again I'm a little kinda of wary about alright what's going on why are why are the you know you said you as I said it's almost like it was an April Fool's joke it's like oh we released this bug fix patch and all these bugs are fixed 
April Fools, not really. Early April Fools joke. Ha ha ha, gotcha. Yep, they really pulled one over on us. Get this woodcutter's lodge built. We'll assign some people to be woodcutters. You will be a good woodcutter. Looks like there's some stags up here and a wolf up here. Looks like there's a wolf here as well. I don't see any uh, fertile land to make a farm yet. So we'll have to uh, figure out how we're going to be getting food. Looks like we may just be relying on uh, some peasants. So I guess we'll build a training camp because we need to get rid of some of these wolves. We can also build a defense tower that protects this area from enemies by shooting at them. We'll build, uh, we'll build the training camp. Right, huh? So we need more houses. Our clan can't grow because we need more houses. Okay. Can we also build a house here? Yes, we can. Let's do that. What is this wretched creature? Could that be a Draugr? I heard old men's tales about undead warriors, but I never gave them much credit. Apparently, I was wrong. At any rate, we should defend our people and slay this fiendish abomination. Alright. So we need to kill the Draugrs. We finish our training camp. So let's turn you into a warrior. And then let's send Brand up here to deal with these wolves. Oh, this Draugr looks like he's coming to attack us. He is indeed, so we'll take him out. And then let's take on this wolf. To expand your territory, you need to colonize the new area. Let's, all right, let's colonize this area. Maybe we can build like a, can we build like a hunting camp or something? Let's see. Healer's hut, woodcutter's lodge, scout camp, hall of scalds, longship dock, marketplace, trading post, training camp, axe thrower camp, shield bearer camp, defense tower, fisherman's hut, fields. Oh, hunter's lodge, here we go. Train your villagers to become hunters who will track and kill deer. I guess we'll do that here, since there are some deer. That'll be one way we can get some food, for show. Sure. Emily, what's up? How's it going? Uh, yeah, Moto, this is, we're not doing Phone Destroyer today. I'm just doing, uh, I'm playing a different game today, just trying something out. This one's called Northgard. It's a new RTS game that just released recently. Um, I'm a big RTS fan, and this one looked really interesting. It's kind of a combination of, like, Warcraft and, uh, I guess we'll need to send somebody up there to build that building. You go build. It's like a combination of, like, Warcraft, and then it has elements of, like, civilization. Um, I think it probably most closely resemble, resembles a game from the 90s called Settlers. I don't know if you've ever heard of Settlers, but it's kind of what this reminds me of. Is it free to play? No, it's on Steam. I think it's only like 20 bucks on Steam though. It's it's not super expensive. Emily says work interfered with my gaming all day. Yeah, I, I didn't get to game much either. I only did one PvP pack today. Uh, you're gonna become a hunter. How many hunters can we make? We can make two hunters. Our territory's under attack. Get down here. I think I need to make a healer's hut too. Probably would help. Hmm? 
All right, let's uh, send this guy to also become a hunter. So that way we can get mo food. And then, what else do we need to do? I want to build a healer's hut. Actually, I think I'm going to make this guy a woodcutter. I need more wood. And then we will build this. He where's the healer's hut? I saw one. Hunter's lodge. He healer's hut. Here we go. So we've already got five buildings in that area, so we can't build any more buildings here. We'll put our healer's hut here. Oh wait, we found something. What did we find? My lord, we have run into the men of another clan. What shall we do? Are they with that scum, Hagen? We come in peace. I am Halvard of Hydran, clan of the goat. We mean no harm. Please offer us assistance. Greetings, Halvard of Hydran. I am Rig, son of the late High King Har Argaroth. <laughs> These names, man. <laughs> it's it's going to kill me. What ails you? My deepest condolences, my young lord. We too have lost much lately. Our journey went awry, and well, long story short, we are now shipwrecked on a desolate shore. We have nothing left and will soon give in to the wilderness. I beg of you, help us. We will offer assistance. What exactly are we to do? Thank you. It should not be too much hassle. Your warriors merely have to exterminate the wolves that threaten our fragile camp. Okay, so we gotta go kill some wolves. Right on. Alright, so let's get back to building this healer's hut though, because we need to heal. So we've got plus five food, let's train another warrior. That puts us at plus one food, although we do need to be preparing for winter, so that's something to keep in mind. So we probably don't want to make any more um, warriors right now. I could potentially take somebody off of woodcutting, though, if I need to. Age of Empires. Uh, I don't. I don't think I've ever played Age of Empires, but uh, I think this re reminds me most most of Settlers. It looks like it's very similar to Settlers. So we have acquired enough lore to develop a new skill. Please choose it wisely, for it will have consequences on our expansion and survival. It is crucial that we study any rune stone or circle of stones we may run into. It will allow our lore masters to gather lore and develop our knowledge. Where do we do this skill thing yet? Is it here? Ah, oh, here we go. Okay. So here's kind of what I, where the civilization stuff kind of comes into play. It looks like they have like some different tech trees and stuff. So we can do sharp axes. Our woodcutters will produce more wood. Weaponsmith increases all of your military units attack power by 20%. Maybe we do that one because we need to kill the wolves. Um, that's probably not a bad idea. Yeah, we'll do that. That way we can kill the wolves a little bit faster. Uh, and I need to, I guess, have somebody come and build this thing, huh? So we'll turn this uh, woodcutter back into a normal villager. We are going to need some definite food if we do not want to starve. And then once this person finishes the healer hut, you will become our healer. And he's going to start healing our peoples up. So now that it's in winter, our goal is to not die. <laughs> Let's see, is there any games you just play for how beautiful and aesthetically pleasing they are? Actually, yes, there is. Um, I mean, No Man's Sky kind of fits that bill. 
but more so than No Man's Sky, there's another kind of RTS game. Oh no, don't die. Run, run. Okay, now you can go back to doing whatever you're doing. Uh, there's another kind of RTS game that I play called Banished, and that game is really just, it's beautiful, and it's just very peaceful. It's, it's kind of like the video game version of a bonsai tree. Um, it doesn't have any combat, it's literally just like you versus nature, and uh, it's just a really harsh kind of survival game. Uh, so I may try and show show some gameplay of that on my channel as well, because that's one of my favorite games to play when I just want something to relax. Um, you know, I'll, I'll pour myself a drink uh, and just sit up here and just get lost in it, because, I mean, you can just play it and take your time, and just it's really just peaceful. Sometimes you find yourself just looking around in Breath of the Wild. Yeah, Breath of the Wild's another game that I enjoy just really exploring and, and um, you know, a very relaxed gameplay experience for me. I didn't, um, I still haven't finished Breath of the Wild. I need to finish it. Oh, we have just discovered a mineral deposit. They come in two types, stone and iron. Both are important resources and both can be extracted by miners. Build a mine to train them. Stone can be used to improve our buildings. Iron allows us to make our tools better as well as rearm a bannerman such as me if they should fall in battle. Keep in mind that a deposit is finite and typically holds little material. Please make a good use out of it. Oh, and we got another new subscriber. Yamats subscribed. Thank you so much, man. Much appreciated. Keep getting us closer to that 1,000 mark. Once we get up to 1,000, we'll be doing a special uh, pack opening episode in South Park Phone Destroyer. I'm looking forward to doing that, opening up a bunch of packs for you guys. Uh-oh, our scout was hurt. Where's our... Is he dead? Mm. Don't die. Oh, no, he's fine. Looks like he just might be injured. So we're just kind of waiting for this winter to go by uh, before we send our military units out to do some work. Also, I probably need to build a house. Let's build another house. We'll send you up here and you can build a house. All right, now we can start clearing out. Let's start. Let's clear out this wolf camp. We'll get Brand aggroed since he has a bunch of help. We'll make short work of these wolves. Looks like there's fish here. Can we fish in this? I don't know. Let's colonize it, though. Well, should we? Hmm. Good question. Yeah, we'll go ahead and colonize. Maybe we can set up a fishing pond or something over here and uh, get more food. We definitely need more food. Alright, now let's go wipe out these uh, Draugr. Looks like there's a bear or something over here. And then we can wipe out this wolf camp, I guess. <laughs> what can we do with this? Colonize this area to gain 30 fame, okay. Mm -hmm. What's over here? More wolves? Another pond, it looks like. Let's go ahead and uh, finish off these wolves. Oh, 
Yeah, getting that military buff was awesome, man, because my, uh, my guys are just chopping through these wolves like nothing. Here's a farm over here, and then this is the mineral deposit, I think. Um, these guys look like they might be tough, so we won't go here yet. But we could probably take out these wolves real quick. And then we'll go back to town and let our guys heal up. Alright, can we build like a fishing pond or something to fish over here? How does that work? A mine, carved stone, altar of kings, hall of scalds, trading post, fields, hunter's lodge, fisherman's hut. Here we go. Train your villagers to become fishermen who will produce food. Even in winter. Okay, so yeah, we'll definitely build a fishing hut here then. And uh, you are going to become a fisherman. See, let's make this guy also a healer. Or can we? Okay, so we can't have two healers. That way we can heal up a little bit faster. Okay, we can get a new lore. Your military units no longer have reduced power during winter. That's awesome. Increases your civilians' attack and your defense tower's resistance. Uh, let's do the fur coats, I think, to give our. That way we can just keep going even through winter. That sounds like a good one. Well, we'll try it at least. So now we have two healers. Uh, and then, yeah, we're going to make this guy a fisherman. Start fishing, buddy. How many fishermen can we have? We can have two. So go, go become a fisherman. And then you can come over here and let's build... Do we need to build another house? No, we're getting villagers, so we don't need to build another house. Let's make this guy a woodcutter, though, because we are starting to run a little bit low on wood. So it might be helpful to get another woodcutter. Alright, so now that our team is kind of healed up, Let's uh, just turn this guy back into a villager. And that way he can start gathering more food for us. And then we can send our military dudes back out and uh, see if we can take over some more area. In fact, let's go ahead and colonize this area for 80. We've still got a little bit of time before winter. We'll take out these wolves. <laughs> and it doesn't look like we can go here yet. Or that's nah, just the edge of the map there, okay. So we need to how do we get around? We've gotta go up this way maybe? Yeah, it looks like maybe we have to go up this way. Okay, so yeah, our scout's over here scouting that area. We can colonize, but we need 120 food. Ooh, I don't know if we want to spend all of our food. That's, that's going to be a tough one. How do we get up here? Can we get up here? Uh, looks like, okay, going down this way. What's up, Pharaoh? How's it going, man? Is this game online? or It, it has online play as well. It's got uh, multiplayer, uh, single-player campaigns, against, or single-player games against AI on... Uh, I think it uses procedural generation to generate its maps, and then you can also play multiplayer games. I'm just playing the campaign because, like I said, this is the first time I've played this one, uh, and I just want to kind of get used to it. So it looks like there's some mineral deposits, some stone here, and then some fertile land. So we could build a farm and a mine there. 
Can we cross? How do we get over here? I don't know how to get over here. Hi. Huh. Oh, we go up here, it looks like. I don't know if I want to fight that bear or not. That bear might kick my ass. We'll try it. We'll try it. We'll try fighting the bear. Huh. Let's go do it. No pain, no gain. So there's ruins here, so we can have our scout search these ruins after we colonize it. Let's get both all of our military dudes over here. Alright, let's see if we can take this bear out. He's definitely got a lot of hit points. I think we got it, though. No problem. We got this. Have I played Xenoblade 2? No, I haven't played Xenoblade 2. The game is awesome as long as you put some time. It starts slow, but one dude is saying spinning cutter like every fight you get into over and over. You can turn the battle voices off. Oh, okay, yeah. That, those types of games annoy me where it's like just repetitive over and over again. Of course, yeah, these voices are probably going to get on my nerves after a little while. Right now, there's a... Uh, you know, it's it's got that uh, newness to it. It's not uh, overplayed yet. So we're definitely producing a good bit of food, but we will need that for sure come winter. So again, I'm not sure if I want to spin, although now these wolves are back. Uh, let's start colonizing maybe out this way and get this field. Oh, there's some sheep out here as well, so that might not be too bad. still 120 to colonize though well we're generating plus one this guy's unhappy why are you upset how do you make him happy happiness will attract new villagers to your town hall improve your people's happiness to accelerate this process so why how do I make make them happy Maybe I need to build something Here we go. Hall of Scalds. Train your villagers to become Scalds who will increase your clan's fame and happiness. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, we can put that... I guess we can put that here. Put that there. Alright, actually, let's cancel that. Let's put it a little bit closer. Oh, we can't put it here. We can put it here, though. We'll put it here. Oh, our scout died. That's unfortunate. So now we don't have a scout. So let's train this person to become a scout. And then I guess we'll go ahead and colonize. I kind of want to stop the wolves spawning over here. Alright, let's send our military. Not our healer. Just our military. Up here. What is this thing? Circle of Stones. Train your villagers to become lore masters. All lore masters in the area will produce 10% more lore. Okay. Yeah, we'll just colonize this area, and that'll stop the wolves from spawning. And also give us some fame. Excellent. And now our village is happy again. So I need to take this gather. Let's build this Hall of Scalds, and then we can increase our happiness further. What's up, Clubhorn? We're playing... Uh, Northguard. It's a new uh, RTS that came out. It's on Steam. I think it's like 20 bucks on Steam. Uh, but it's like an RTS city builder. Uh, so right now, it's based on Vikings and Norse mythology. Uh, right now, we've got our objectives here. We have to colonize eight territories, reach 200 fame, and then send our military units to kill the wolves around Halvard's settlement. 
So we are at 140 fame right now. And we've made it into a new year. Excellent. So we need 160 food to claim our next piece of territory. I guess we don't really need the healer right now. We could probably uh, just send him back to being... So we'll make that a skull. We'll just send this guy back to being a regular villager. And then uh, maybe we'll make him a scald as well. Now let's just leave him as a villager collecting food. We need more food so that we can colonize. And then we will move our military out. Draugr will rise from this place until you take control of it. So we definitely need to try and take control of that place. Alright, we could colonize... Oh, our allies under attack. Well, we can't do anything about that right now. Or can we? No, we cannot. We're getting close to being able to do something about it, but we're not there yet. This area is made inhabitable by toxic fumes. Okay, so can't inhabit this place, but maybe we can just finish off this Draugr and start clearing our way up here. We're at 161 fame right now. So cleared that out. If we wanted to colonize this, we would need 200 food. So we're not going to be able to do that right now. Oh, we are under attack. Where are we under attack? Oh, this guy, it looks like. Alright, that's taken care of. We don't have a healer. We don't need a healer right now. We just need food. Uh, and we need a new house, it looks like. So, you come over here and build us another house so that we can get more villagers. That group you were supposed to help are probably dead at this point. Let's check on them and see if they're still kicking it. Uh, they're still alive. They've taken a little bit of damage, but they're still alive, so we've got some time to get up there. We just need to get through, it looks like a bear, and then we have, well, it looks like we have to get all the way up here to colonize this to be able to take out these wolves, maybe. So we've still got a little ways to go before we get all the way up there. We just need more food. Boom, got another house so we can produce some more villagers. Allow you to upgrade other buildings, increases maximum population by 2 and population growth by 20%. We don't have any stone though. Improves wood production in this area by 10%. So this would have been a good place to build the woodcutter's lodge, I guess. It's pretty cool how the different tiles allow you to do different things. You can kind of specialize every tile. Like this one had a lot of deer on it. It was really good for a, a hunting camp. Alright, let's uh, see if we can push up here and uh, beat this bear. Looks like there's also a Draugr here. Looks like a bear over there. Our scout was hurt. Maybe that's why we need to have a healer to keep healing our scout. All 
Alright, we'll take off this bear. And then uh, we can try and take out these wolves. And see if we have to settle that place. Or if we just have to kill the wolves. I'm not sure which one we have to do. Alright, bear killed. Let's take out these wolves. Oh, run away. Alright, you go first. Ah, one of them died. So we killed the wolves, but yeah, it looks like we do have to colonize this area. So it's going to take a minute, because we've got to... Well, we've already got that colonized, right? No? Where did we colonize to? We've colonized... We can't colonize that area. Interesting. Can't colonize this area. There's another fishing pond here. Alright, well, we need to get another healer. Because we gotta heal up. So you become a healer. And how about you become a healer? We could also bring our scout back and get him healed up. Has a civilization revolution feel? Yeah, it I mean, it does kind of have that civilization feel for sure. But the combat is more like a traditional RTS, like Warcraft. Uh, and we can turn this, per let's just turn this person into a Scald as well, so that we get more fame. Because we're trying to get up to 200. Also increases our happiness. Okay, what else do we need to do? We're under attack. Where are we under attack? Oh, here, okay. So let's send Brand. I think he can probably take this guy by himself. It looks like if we don't respond to it, you need to stay over here and get healed, buddy. I don't know where you're going. Brand can take out the Draugr. So we can't colonize this area, so how do we move... Can we colonize this area? That one's already been colonized. There's a bear here. Maybe that's what's preventing us from colonizing this area, and then we can move up here. I still don't see how we colonize these areas, though. My only guess would be that we could colonize this after we take out the wolves. Alright, well let's make us another warrior. I th well, we're minus three food. I think that's probably fine. Alright. Where is our warrior hut? Is this a training camp? Uh -huh. Oh, we need more crowns. Crowns are used to recruit your warband and for upkeeping buildings. How do we get more crowns? Uh, a marketplace? Tra
train your villagers to become merchants and spend crowns to buy various resources. Uh, trading posts. Train your villagers to become merchants who will earn crowns. Okay, so I guess we need to do that. We can put it here. So you go up there and build us a trading post so that we can earn some crowns. Because right now we can't recruit more warriors. We need more warriors. We can put one of the healers back though, probably. Turn them into a villager. That way we're getting more food. It also wouldn't hurt to try and uh, maybe get this, turn this into another fishing pond. <laughs> the snow piled up as quickly as it did in Montreal. <laughs> Doki Do I've heard Doki Doki Literature Club is pretty good. Some of my friends were telling me about that game. They said they really enjoyed it. Okay, so now we're generating crowns. That's good. But we're at uh, one unhappiness. That's no bueno. Now we're at plus one happiness because our scout died. Still not 100% sure how to, uh, we made it through the year, yay. Still not 100% sure how to, uh, increase our happiness other than, uh, other than the scalds. Looks like that's the only way to do it is to uh, to have these scalds generating happiness. So how much do we need for another building upkeep per year? Twenty-seven. Send this person up to become another trader. We don't need lore, really. We need, um, we need more money. There we go. Now we're getting plus three money. We need another scout right now, or have we pretty much? Ex looks like we've pretty much explored everything. Unless we have to go up around this area, I don't think we do though. Okay, can we get another warrior yet? No, we need 25, so we're getting close. And we're maxed out on food. Uh -huh. 23, 24, 25. There we go. All right. Come on, all of you, get up here. You, get up here. I guess let's go up this way. We'll fight off this bear. Oh, we're under attack. Where are we under attack? Over here again. Alright, let's go fight off this guy. And then... Move up.
fight this bear, colonize this area, and then maybe we can fight off these wolves here and colonize this area. Can we not get over there? Oh, we can. We just have to go through this area first. All right, get in there and take this bear out. And then we'll see if we can colonize this area. You'd be happy to if your scout died. <laughs> so we can't colonize this area. Maybe we just have to kill the wolves. have to stand here? Ah, we just have to stand there and it'll take out the, uh, gotcha, okay. Why are you sitting over here? Get over here, you're supposed to be helping. So we took out those wolves. Here we go. All right, taking them out. My lord, I'm delighted to report that Halbert's camp is now safe from any beastly threat. Excellent. Please make sure his people get any food they need and tend to their wounded. Excellent. On behalf of the entire Hydran clan, I would like to express our most heartfelt gratitude. We were doomed without you. Hey, you're very welcome. From now till the end of times, you can count on the help and loyalty of the clan of the goat. I hereby solemnly pledge my allegiance to you. Victory! Well, we didn't even have to colonize eight territories. We just had to help that dude out. All right, well, it works for me. Hagen has been reported to have settled in the region. We must strengthen our position while trying to find him. So Halvard, the elderly bannerman of the Goat Clan, is a wise and kind-hearted man focused on the survival of his people. He abhors senseless violence, but still packs quite a punch when provoked. He and the Hydran Clan pledged allegiance to you after you save them from hungry wolves. So starting bonuses start with one sheep that can and can build the sheepfold. Increases the production bonus of your feast to 30%. Fame bonuses spare tools requires 200 fame. You gain two free tools to improve your villagers' productivity. And then teamwork at 500 fame. You gain one free feast. Your defense towers and your military units gain 20% resistance when feasting. Okay, cool. Let's check this one out. The sons of Heidrun have been shipwrecked on an inhospitable coast. But we arrived just in time to save them from the fangs of I the I like wolves. the art in this game. It's it's very nice looking. Halvard, it's kind of like got leader, that um, was so grateful his charcoal allegiance to kind of painting the look to it. We met. He readily agreed to share invaluable secrets about survival. Soon enough, we would be taming the wilderness. You can probably press spacebar to go to the last event of bio, like when you get attacked, it should position the camera directly there. Okay, I'll try that. Moto says, I have five out of eight visitors, three more for level three. Yeah, I like the visitors. I, I was watching Average Guy play earlier. He had level four visitors. And, um, I mean, they look good, but they're not that impressive. Even at level four, um, I mean, they did some work. But for the most part, I wasn't overly impressed with them. 
Uh, I feel like they probably need to be buffed a little bit uh, to be really viable, or maybe they just get much better at level 5 like every other rare in the game, but how long is it going to take you to get level 5 visitors? God only knows, right? Hagen is out there somewhere. We need to find him and kill him. My lord, I understand your impatience, but we need to settle in durably in order to establish a firm control over the new regions. This area looks like it fits our plan. We should definitely settle here. Hydran's followers are tough survivors, so please let us lay the groundwork for your conquest of Northgard. Halvard is a reliable ally who combines persistence and composure. Let him honor his debt and prove his allegiance to you in the meantime. I will take my leave and attend to the business we discuss. Understood. Please travel safely, Brand. So Brand's peacing out. Hopping on a boat, taking off, doing some other stuff. And we're going to be left with Halvard here. And the clan of the goat. We got some goaties. Halvard, you will assist me in this operation. Thank you, young lord. I will not disappoint you. Alright. The goat clan benefits from sheep farming and takes advantage of these animals by sheltering them in sheep folds, a unique building to them. Because they master the science of food preservation, they can afford to organize hearty feasts that will boost their happiness and productivity. I like the sound of that. Alright, so build. I guess we'll start out with our scout camp, as per the use. Uh, and I guess we'll also go ahead and build a woodcutter's lodge. And Brand was never seen again. I'm sure he'll be back. I'm sure he'll be back. Alright, you become a scout. Go scout the area. Let's see what we got. Where is this sheep? Here it is. Sheepfold. Allows you to enclose your sheep to produce food. Alright, let's go ahead and build one of those too. You become a woodcutter. Start chopping lumber. I love games where you have to chop wood, man. I don't know what it is about chopping wood, but there's something fun about it. And we definitely need to, uh some defenses. We might be able to clear out these wolves, though, just with this guy. Yeah, he should be able to take out the wolves. Get in there, sheep. I like how he hops. He's hopping. Look at him go. Oh, and there's a sheep here too, huh? So let's go and uh, take out this. Our clan needs more houses, okay? Build us a house. Actually, hold on. Let's cancel that. Let's colonize this area and then we can build a house over here on this area because I think I want to build my military camp over here yes yes that'll do alright now you come over here and build a house right here now we can move the sheep into our sheepfold. Looks like some more wolves, another sheep, some deer, and a shipwreck over here. So after you build this house, I think we're going to build a fishing pond. Wood. We may need more 
wood for that. Yes, we do need more wood. Alright, you need to become a woodcutter and start cutting us some wood. Fisherman's hut. We'll build it here. That way we can start fishing in this little pond. The good thing about fishing is that it provides food even during winter, so that's good. Now we could also colonize here if we wanted to explore these ruins. May not be a bad idea. Come over here, get us some food going. I almost thought that said LOL. It looks like LOL. I was like, LOL, a Viking <laughs> or Valkyrie. Lo, a Valkyrie, methinks Odin's maids could help us defeat our enemies. Wait, my lord, I'm afraid something is wrong with these. Oh, indeed, what a tragedy. It seems these fair creatures have been tainted by some corrupt influence. There is nothing we can do for them apart from putting them out of their misery. <laughs> That's nice. However, we should expect them to be formidable foes. So, some scary Valkyries, alright? Our territory is under attack. You can deal with it, no problem. We probably need to build a healer's hut over here. But we need more crowns, so... Be a fisherman. Do some fishing. Alright, we could build a healer's hut, or we could build a training camp, maybe. Can't do both yet. I'm gonna go ahead and build a healer's hut, because I think we probably need to have a healer's hut. So you, come over here, build a healer's hut. That way we can at least heal up our dude, and he can kind of keep us defended for a minute. Then let's go ahead and colonize this for 40 and we can uh, use our scout to get these ruins and see what kind of cool treasures we can get. So bring our scout over here and explore these ruins. See what's in here. And then you can become a healer and start healing up our guy. And then we can probably go ahead and assign this person to also be a fisherman. Oh, there's another sheep over here, but he's in a different territory. Finally, the sheeple will know the power of the goat clan, indeed. A bio, a game I would strongly recommend you to play at some point is one shot. That game is ridiculously pretty. Okay, I'll check that out. Ten people watching, ten people liking. That's a good ratio. Yeah, thank you everyone who's tuning in. I know it's not uh, South Park, so I do appreciate you guys just tuning in, uh, hanging out with me, supporting me uh, while I'm trying out different games as well. Uh, you know, I'm still going to be mostly streaming South Park, so don't worry. Uh, I'm not going anywhere on South Park. Uh, I just, you know, every now and then I want to try something different, and this is a good opportunity for me to, to play a new game and uh, show you guys what it's about. Maybe you're interested in it as well. And if not, that's all right too. No big deal. You know, you don't have to like everything I play. If enough people don't like it, then uh, I won't stream it anymore. But I think so far it's it's been a lot of fun for me. Uh, we're going to go ahead and build our training camp. That way we can start getting some warriors out. Uh, 
Jam and T says I see 15 likes. You want to see a bio play a dating simulator just for the lulls? Oh man, I, I don't know about that, dude. That doesn't sound interesting to me. Ah, so we gained a hundred, um, what are those called? Coins or something? Crowns. A hundred crowns and fifty... Oh, wow, okay, we can get, uh, let's see, what do we want to do? Gain two crown productions enables trading routes. That might not be a bad idea. Uh, sharp axes. So this looks like uh, resource gathering. Trading might not be bad since we're already at negative one crowns. Let's go ahead and do that. 80% reduction to add a building slot to an area. Your merchants will produce 20% more crowns. So we could probably wait. Oh, we've got a wolf incoming. Where's, where's our guy at? He's up here. Alright, luckily our villagers were able to fend that off. Alright, you are going to become a warrior. And then maybe make one more warrior. Yes. You can also become a warrior. So now we have three warriors. We could probably expand over here. That would give us more food production. Your military units have reduced power. Wounded clan members have 20% reduced redu production. Well, she's almost healed. Oh, what's this? Stones. Excellent. Maybe we can build a mine then. How do we do that? Mine, here we go. Extract stone or iron. So we'll just put it here. We can afford to take a hit on our food, I think. Oh, we got another ruin up here. What are those ugly little critters? I believe those are kobolds. They are a rare sight back on our continent but they seem to thrive here on North Guard. They are not aggressive, but they do exhibit territorial behavior. They will definitely attack us if we trespass. Hmm, would they accept to trade with us, I wonder? Oh, maybe we could set up a trading route. Well, I'm glad we went with the uh, trading one then, because that would be a definite possibility. All right, you get over here and build our mine, and then we can start mining some stone. Let's go ahead and finish off these wolves, I guess. We probably need to build a house up here as well. Yep, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Let's build a house. After we build this house, we'll make this guy a miner. Miner. Start getting us some stone. Alright, so do we want to go up this way and try and establish a trade route with the kobolds? That may not be a bad idea. Or do we want to go this way and check out this shipwreck? We'll get crowns and wood by doing the shipwreck. Could also make a hunting lodge. 
But I think I want to go up this way and try and establish a trade route first. So let's do that. Mm -hmm. We'll clear out this group of wolves. And then we can establish a trade route. We could probably build another sheepfold over here to get more food anyway. Colonize for 80. Yep, let's do it. I guess I could probably build my trading camp right here. We're almost, we're low on food though, so we definitely need to... Let's go ahead and just build another sheepfold over here. Scout was hurt. And we have enough lore to get more knowledge. Um, let's do... Actually, I think we may need to do sharp axes. I don't think we really need to worry about the, the coins right now. So yeah, we'll just do sharp axes. Yeah, I, I'm really enjoying the music in this, James. It's It's been pretty nice so far. Alright, so now we can put these sheep in here. Then we could build a trading trading post. Where is our trading post? So we're doing okay on food. We could colonize this area. Let's go ahead and colonize this area. area to stop these Draugr and start working our way over towards finishing those off, the Valkyries off. Let's go ahead and try and fight off these Draugr. Colonize this for 160. Excellent. So that'll take care of this Draugr camp. Give us some fame. So plenty of food production. Let's go ahead and bring this person over here. Young Lord, we have spotted men from another clan. I think you are going to relish this. Oh, it's Hagen. What? The goats survived? I thought they'd end up in the wolves' bellies. Halvard, you senile billy goat. You really are tough meat. Surrender now and I'll spare you. No one is going to surrender, Hagen. Not even you will be given this chance. You killed my father. Prepare to die. <laughs> my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. <laughs> The High King's son be here too. Ah, nothing quite went according to plan. I thought I had killed you, but it matters no longer. I'll finish the job now. Overconfidence will only yield you more hardships. You have only accomplished one thing, making more enemies than you already had. Halvard, there's a change of plan. Our objective is now to destroy his outpost. That feathered bastard might be planning to carry us with mercenary raids. It could be wise to erect defense towers at the borders of our territory. 
Indeed, we should also improve our scout camp so that our scouts are able to perform reconnaissance in enemy territory. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, we need to set up some defense towers, huh? I think here, though, I want to set up maybe a hunting camp. Or should I go ahead and build defense towers? Maybe we should just go ahead and build defense towers. So they're not going to come at us from here. More than likely, they'll come at us this way. So we'll set up a defense tower here. You go build. come over here and become a traitor. Choose which resource your merchants will sell to earn crowns. We could sell food, maybe. We could also sell lumber. But no, I think we'll sell food. Get plus four crowns. This is good. All right. Because then we can. Uh, so we've got our defense tower going up. We can build hunting grounds over here, and we can hunt and get more food that way. Oh, our scout died. That's unfortunate. We'll have to build another scout or train another scout. our scouts. Scouts can. Upgrade. We could upgrade this. Requires an upgraded town hall though. Okay. We'll upgrade our town hall. Done. And now we can upgrade. Let's go ahead and upgrade our scouts. So now you can become an advanced scout, I guess. So that's upgraded. We don't have to put anybody in it. Right, nope, okay. Now we can build a hunting ground. Well, we need some more lumber first. So we need 60 for a hunting lodge. So we'll yeah. wait and build a hunting lodge once we get up to 60. Oh, we can also use our scout to explore mm -hmm. that shipwreck. Let's do that. Ahoy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he got to the Princess Bride reference before I did. Inconceivable. That one was easy, man. So you gain two free tools to improve your villagers' productivity. Okay. That's cool. I don't know what that means exactly. Hunting grounds. Hunter's Lodge. Here we go. And we can upgrade. Uh, we want to reduce the consumption of food, maybe? Probably not a bad idea. Let's do that. A lot of lumber and some crowns, so we're doing okay, I think. Ex 
except our happiness sucks. So I think we probably need to build a brewery. Where can we build a brewery? We could build it here. What are those? Yeah, we'll build our brewery over here. You can come over here and start working on the brewery. We're still producing villagers, so we don't need to build a house right now. Oh, here we go, improved tools. Oh, I can increase specific people's tools. Interesting. So what do we need most? Uh, probably wood. Or maybe, um, maybe get our brewers up so that we get more happiness. That might not be a bad idea. Okay, we'll do that. We'll wait for our brewery to finish and then I think we'll give the tools to our brewers. Because we could also build another sheep fold over here. Because there is a sheep wandering around. I think there might be a sheep wandering around. No, we got that sheep. So no sheep there. Okay, you become a brewer. Let's improve our brewer. Uh, we're close to summer, so we should be good. And here it is, or spring, or whatever. We're gonna go ahead and create another brewer. And then we'll go ahead and up her as well, so that we get more happiness. Oh no! Run! No! Don't kill him! Where's our military? those guys come from? They came from somewhere. Alright. Oh, we're under attack again. Where are we under attack? I do not see. Now where's our sheep at? Oh, there it is. Well, they've got that handled. healer go oh our mine is depleted Okay, so we can destroy the quarry. We don't need that. You're a miner, so we don't need you to be mining anymore. We already have two of those. I think we're missing a sheep. Where did our sheep run off to? Oh, here he is. Let's 
so this person, my building is full. Uh, I guess we can make you a healer. Probably need another healer right now. So we do need more houses. So we'll build a house here. Since we had to get rid of our quarry. Uh, it looked like when I hit spacebar, it took me back to my town hall when uh, the announcement came. It didn't take me to... It looks like I have to pay attention to the map, like here. Well, at least my defense tower is working out pretty well. Alright, so we could build another uh, sheepfold over here. That might be a good idea. You come over here and build another sheepfold. We could also organize a feast. A feast gives plus two and 30 bonus to all production and happiness for one month. It costs 100 food. That's interesting. Let's try it. Oh, we could improve tools as well. Oh yeah, we want to improve. Oh, it's already improved. Okay, I gotcha. So we can improve woodcutters. What do we need the most? Maybe food? Probably food. Sheep. Can we improve sheep? No. Lore masters, hunters, give us more meat, produce more fish. Um, I guess maybe more meat from the hunters would be good. We'll try that. We could also probably just go ahead and improve our fishermen too. Why not? We have the resources to do it. So this is pretty cool. You can upgrade your, your individual workers. And then we'll organize a feast and see what this does. Uh, we can put a sheep up in here. Where's that sheep at? I know there's one over here. I hear him. I hear him baba and... Where are you, sheep? There you are. There we go. Get over here, sheep. Alright. It might not hurt to build another defense tower over here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's build a defense tower over here. That way we don't have to worry so much about sending our army over there. We're under attack. Where are we under attack? Ah, uh, over here. Well, our defense tower is taking care of that. But now our tower is on fire. You go build. You put out this fire. Hyperdrive Butter is hitting the new kid three times for zero damage. Fun. Then he wins, laughs, and farts. Wow. Yeah, it takes a special person to uh, think that they did something special by winning a game where a bug was involved, right? What is this? Iron deposit? Could we, uh, should we go for this iron? Maybe not a bad idea. 
build a mine. Oh, we can also get some more lore. Increases your healer's healing speed by 50%. Healers will gather food when they are not healing. That sounds pretty good. Increases population growth. Let's do that. Uh, I like the idea of our healers gaining... Well, we don't really need the food, though. Take out these wolves. Now let's try and take out the. Uh, let's try and take out this. Yeah. No. Let's go ahead and make our healers. We'll do that. Why not? I like the idea of them gathering food while they're not doing anything. Plus, we're maxed out on food now, so we don't have to worry about food. Oh, these guys are no joke. Run, run, run. No joke. All right, we can't do this in winter then. We're just gonna have to wait. Maybe we should have gotten the, uh, well, we're about to be able to get another upgrade. Ooh, what's going on? Earthquake. Oh no. All right, we need to repair these buildings then. Uh, I need villagers. You, go repair. You, go repair. You, go repair. That was kind of cool. <laughs> it's just like, boom, earthquake. Alright, let's go ahead and, um... Let's go ahead and get this weapon smith. Increase our military units by 20%. And then we can get the fur coats oh. next. So we have... Attack. Where are we under attack? You got him. So we need more happiness. Probably need to build another brewery then. Come build this brewery. Can we upgrade the breweries? Oh, we can upgrade the breweries to gain 50%. That might be a good idea. That might be a good idea. Let's do that. This 
guy's just a villager. We'll bring him over here. And you're going to become a ruler. James says silver is worse than legendary at this point. The music makes me so sleepy and relaxed. I know, I love this music, man. This music's just chill as, as, as all get out. Play SBPD rank 48 trigger guaranteed. I don't even want to know, man. Is it just because of all of the, uh... Is it just because of all of the uh, sandbagging that's going on in, in the high silver shields? I imagine that's probably what you're referring to. Alright, both of you guys become brewers. Increase our happiness. Awesome. We're super happy. Now we can start pumping out those villagers. Our territory is under attack. Where's our military? Let's go ahead and uh, finish off these wolves and get rid of this threat. Colonized for 200. A warm and pleasant area gives plus one happiness and minus 10% wood consumption in winter if controlled. Could also get more stone, it looks like, over here. Alright, now let's see if we can go finish off. Oh, uh, this is their territory. Now we'll back out. We gotta heal. Oh, they're coming after us. They're pissed. They're not happy. Oh, one of our warriors died. That's okay. We'll make more warriors. You can become a warrior. not become a warrior. We could upgrade to gain plus one warband and increase our warrior's attack. That might not be a bad idea. Let's go ahead and do that. Now you can become a warrior. Also upgrade our towers. We need more stone though. What is this? A rune stone? Uh, do we still have anything to mine over here? Yep, we're still mining. Still mining. Uh, maybe improve our tools. Oh, we could improve our warriors. Sounds like a good idea. Let's do that. What else can we improve? We can improve our woodcutters to gain more wood. Our villagers build and repair speed. Merchants will produce more crowns. That's probably not a bad idea. Brewers will produce 15% more. We've already done that one. Miners extract more ore and increase healers healing speed. Let's go with merchants, I think. We probably need the crowns. Now, where's our army at? Is this all of them? 
<laughs> oh, it is. Let's finish off these Valkyrie. We can colonize this for 250. And then we can start hacking away at our opponent. Now we can start claiming this. Awesome. Wonder what happens if we claim it. What's up, Omp? How's it going? The devs should just hard cap the levels a card can be at a certain point of the ladder so the entire mechanic of deranking is fucked. Yep, that's kind of what I said too. I thought it would be really cool if they made it to where if you're in rank 1 through 10, you could go to a level, you could only have level 1 cards in your deck. You could still level stuff up past 1, but it would just make sure that like all of your cards when you play are capped at 1. And then 11 through 20, uh, you can cap them at 2. Uh, 21 through 30, you can cap them at 3. 31 through 40, cap it at level 4. And then 41 through 50, capped at level 5. And then once you get into Legendary, you just play anything. So now their buildings start burning. What happens if we leave the area? Do they still burn? It looks like it. Alright, so now we can get our guys healed up. We could get shield bearers and axe throwers. Oh, we need more houses. That's why we're not growing. Okay. I need a villager. You. We've got three buildings there. We've got three buildings there. We can build a house here, probably. Oh, wow. Military, where are you? They came in by boat. Get out, get out, run. Wow. Good stuff. They were coming for revenge, man. They were not happy that we knocked out part of their village here. Oh, this guy's over here repairing. We gotta get over here and stop them. Micromanaging. Oh, we're under attack. It's freezing. What happened to all our, our woodcutters? 
Oh, it's a blizzard. That's why. Uh, that's really not good. needs to end. Wow, that came at a really bad time. So maybe I need more wood cutting. Let's improve our wood cutters. And I probably need another wood cutter. We made it to the new year, but how many people did we lose? A lot of unhappy people. No bueno, no bueno. Our clan cannot grow because it is unhappy. Well, hopefully, their happiness will start to improve now that we're starting to get wood. And we're under attack again. These guys are getting aggressive now. So, we don't need to have a miner anymore. Cancel. Or destroy that. Go to this house. You can become a villager. And repair. We can develop this area if we needed to. We could also develop maybe this area. Yeah, let's um. Man, I don't know. I guess I could just build a woodcutter's lodge here. I don't have enough wood to build a woodcutter's lodge. Now I do. Let's do that. And then we'll make these two woodcutters so that way we're getting more wood production. We're back to being happy at least. How many healers do we have? We still have two healers. We may need to build another healer hut. some more people on the, on the healer hut. Okay. We could organize a feast. Might not be a bad idea. Uh, I need one villager. You can become a traitor. And yeah, we'll organize a feast. Maybe that'll make our... That'll get us our production going for a month. Which is really what we need. Let's see... Going to stream scrims against viewers all day. Got a queue system set up. Might use raffle system too. Got a lock team set up as well. I'll play everyone in turn and order. And those that donate to Extra Life will get to skip the line. That's pretty cool, man. That sounds like a lot of fun. Well, at least our warrior was here already. 
Alright, we need more warriors for sure. You become a warrior. Too. Oh wait, uh, now we're kind of low on food. That's not good. Alright, I think we need to try and like end this. Otherwise we're going to get overrun pretty soon, I think. This game's getting pretty harsh. Why is our food production so low? Four woodcutters, we have two hunters, seven sheep, two fishermen. God, and we're under attack again, great. Every time I move my warriors out. Run, run, run. Run. units gain 5% for each friendly military unit in the area. If you have a halberd and plus one, I don't have a halberd. Um, we're still under attack, it says. What area did we lose control of? that area. Jeez. Alright, where's our military? Where's my woodcutter? Oh, I need more woodcutters. Become a woodcutter, and you become a woodcutter, and we're under attack again. Military. Okay, we gotta fix that house. Parent. All right, let's go see if we can do some things. Portal. This is not easy, for sure. All right, I need a way to get more food, I think. Probably need another healer. Let's see, can we build another healer hut? Yes, we can. Part of the problem is we only had one healer. So now we'll have two, three healers, maybe four. 
Oh, there's a healer over here, that's why. take this area. Oh, mercenary ship. Great. Where is it coming from? Here it is. Ridiculous. Now I don't have any brewers here. Okay, we've got lore. Increased population growth, that might be good. Increases civilians' resistance, that's probably good. Let's do that. Oh, okay. That's not bad either. Jeez. Ohm says, I think a bio should have switched over to my free cams to satisfy my thirst. <laughs> You going to play RuneScape Mobile? I want to do that so much. I, I don't know, man. I never really played RuneScape. I always heard good things about it. I just never never got into it for whatever reason. Uh, where's my military? I've only got one soldier. That's not good. How many? see. We got a villager here. Make him into a warrior. Probably do one more. And our territory's under attack. This is intense, man. I probably need to build some other military bases, like uh, some more military buildings. guys here for now. And we're under attack again. Okay, but we're here. Okay.
Okay, what can we build? And where can we build it? So we could build axe throwers, shield bearers. So where can we build axe throwers? We're full there, full there, full there, full there. We can do it here. Okay, let's do that. Give me... Rat infestations. Rats will devour 80% of any food not stored in silos. Uh, okay, so we need to build some silos, apparently. How do we do that? Food silo. Improves food production by specialized workers in this area by 10% increases your maximum food. So, can we develop this area? Alright, let's develop. Let's develop this area. Let's develop this area. Let's develop this area. And then we need to start building these silos. So, build a food silo. I thought we developed this area. Can we not build a food silo here? Oh, requires an area with a natural food resource. Well, I guess we can do that. Man, then we get attacked by mercenaries and... ...the AI. This is brutal. Uh, you need to come over here and build this silo. I probably need to build a defense tower over here, too. Give us a quick round of SPPD. Oh, I'm under attack again. I think I'm going to upgrade this one. Oh, I need more stone. Jeez. God, man, they keep coming. Oh, 
mercenary ship. Well, at least having the defense tower up there seems to have worked for now. Rats have infested. We've lost 113 food. We should build more food silos. Well, I built a food silo, so that's good. I think Lappy, Lappy's next Monday. Oh, uh, no, I'm actually going to have to go in just a minute here. Unfortunately, this is like super intense, though, for sure. <laughs> Uh, we need some stone. Do we have any stone that we can do? I think there was some. Wasn't there some here? There is some here, but there's some Draugr. Alright, where's our military? Here it is. Risk it? I guess we could. We could probably colonize here. We need the stone. Let's go ahead and do it. We need the stone like yesterday. Five villagers. Let's uh, get a warrior. Actually, no. Let's uh, get an axe thrower. Got a villager here too. So we've got this colonized. We can build a mine. So we finished our quarry. Where did our uh, come a miner? We'll start mining some of the stone. OK, 
Okay. We've got a civilian. We could turn her maybe into an axe thrower. Another villager, turn him into a warrior. We've got enough lore. Oh wait, we do have Halberd. And gain one plus upgraded plus one happiness per upgraded military camp. Well we can do that then. Or military units gain plus five percent attack for each type of friendly military unit in the area. I think the happiness might be good. Let's do that. Oh no, don't leave the sheep. Stay. stone. We need more stone. We'll go ahead and put another miner over here. Can we improve the tools? No, we don't have any iron. Okay, well, we've got a pretty good little military here. Alright, I'm going to improve this tower because I'm tired of these Vikings wrecking me. I'm also going to build a tower here because, again, I'm tired of these uh, mercenaries wrecking me. Good thing is, is we have a ton of lumber now. I could... Well, I don't really want to pull anybody off of lumber production just in case we hit another blizzard. Somebody is blowing my phone up. Oh, wow. About to punt. this new title Jarl your defense towers and all of your military units gain 20% resistance when feasting nice I don't like how you select units in this game it's really weird I don't want these healers over here come over here two axe throwers. We could make another warrior. And then we could send this guy to become a brewer. All right, now let's see if we can do some damage to these, these guys.
Uh, we can go ahead and make another warrior here. So we're still in control of this. We can just keep pushing in on him, maybe. Uh, let me see if I can upgrade my axe thrower. Yes, we can. And we'll go ahead and make another axe thrower. stay here and his buildings just burn down or something. A mercenary ship. understand how we're supposed to like stop him from just reclaiming all of this like all the time he doesn't have mercenaries attacking him that's kind of what it boils down to I have to deal with mercenaries Mercenary ship. Are you kidding? Blizzard's hitting us. Uh, we could organize a feast. It says it costs zero. Let's do that, and that'll offset some of it. It'll at least get us through this month. Also increase. Uh, let's see. We need a villager to come repair this. And then we can upgrade this.
land can't grow because it needs more houses. Uh, okay. Treasure is waiting to be found here. Interesting. Oh, we've already gotten those ruins. Okay. Where's our other axe thrower? There he is. Maybe we should build a shield bearers camp. two places at once, I guess. Somebody to come build this house. One thing after the next. Pushing in on his territory.
I guess we could just... We have to destroy the entire outpost. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means we have to destroy everything. colonize this for 250. Jeez. No, no. I'm uh, I'm still paying attention. It's just there's like always stuff going on, so I I don't have a whole lot of time to look at the chat. Sorry guys. But this is a uh, it's the first time I've played this, so it's a lot of getting used to for sure. Uh, do we have time is the question. I don't know if we want to risk it. Probably not. Uh, because if we spend 250, then, uh, we'll really be hurting. But I think if we just stay here and, uh, and keep his dudes at bay. Uh-oh, what do they got? They got, like, a little war band coming in here. All right, let's see if we can take this war band out. And we've just got to keep putting pressure on him, I guess. We haven't had any mercenaries in a while, so that's been kind of fortunate. Uh, do we make more warriors? Maybe make an axe thrower? Maybe make two axe throwers. And a warrior. And then just see if we can keep pushing. We could also upgrade our shield bearers. Oh, we've got four axe throwers. We've only got one shield bearer. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> What's the dumb unit going, yo, yo, yo? I, I think they all do that, man. At least that's what it seems like. I should probably, like, cycle some of these guys out. That's what I'll do. I'll take, take these two. Oh, they made those bad. I just got both of those units killed. Alright, well we need to back out. Oh, is he rebuilding stuff here? I think he's trying to. Okay, let's back our units out and get healed up. We also need to repair, it looks like. Okay. So, doing some repair work. Luckily, it looks like only two buildings. And then this is done. We can get rid of that. repair that building and then you repair that building okay take it easy oh thanks for uh, tuning in man this is a uh, this is a crazy game guys like it gets really intense really fast especially when you also have to uh, deal with the mercenaries and then all of the uh, raiding parties and stuff. Oh, it's it's pretty intense. Now let's 
let's bring our troops back here. I probably need to do that thing that allows you to regenerate your troops faster. Alright, I've got three guys. I don't know if I want to use them though because we need food production. We need food production something fierce. Alright, I think I'm going to have to save it guys and uh, and call it for now. So... All right, we're going to save it, and then we'll pick up at another time. This has been a lot of fun, though. But yeah, if I don't stop now, then I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> but thanks a lot, everybody. It was fun. I really enjoyed playing this. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. It's definitely a really fun game. It's very intense, for sure. Uh, it gets really crazy really fast. Maybe I'm just not playing it correctly. Although I did start on normal difficulty and not on easy, so maybe that's why, but uh, I at least like to have a little bit of a challenge. I can't imagine how difficult hard is going to be, uh, but maybe I'll try and watch some videos on YouTube and see if I can get some tips and tricks on how to do better at the game. Uh, maybe there's something organizationally I can do a little bit better uh, to make it go a little bit smoother. But uh, tomorrow, I'm going to try and have Druzy on the channel for an interview. We'll be playing some more South Park tomorrow, so make sure you tune in for that. And then I think Thursday, Hair Gel Gravel is going to be on. Again, we'll be doing more South Park on Thursday. And then uh, we'll see what Friday holds. Maybe Friday we can do more North Guard, or maybe we can go back and do some more No Man's Sky. Uh, we'll see, though. Uh, I'm, I'm going to kind of keep it up in the air for Friday. But thanks a lot, everyone. I uh, hope you guys have a great evening. Be good to each other, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.